Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Proto, and this week I'm going to be taking a look at how we can add overlays and watermarks to Sony Vegas. And this will be useful if you want to help brand new YouTube videos. I know that YouTube have their own way of doing this, but if you want to make sure that people can't re-upload your video and claim that as their own, this would be great. So to go over it briefly, we'll need any additional plugins and works with images, text and video files. I'll also give you a tip on how to add the same effect in your other videos. I'll quickly go over saying that this file does need to have an alpha channel or transparency to be able to make the watermark look much more professional. So basically, you need to have a PNG image. So if you want to make the logo look animated, follow these steps, otherwise click the image on screen now to skip it. So start by dragging the clip onto the timeline. Right click on it, choose disable resample only, and then click OK. Next, hold control and drag the image, duplicate it, and make sure that they're right beside each other. So now that we've done this, go into transitions, 3D blinds, and choose spin. You want to place it in between the two images. You can adjust the length depending on the speed and duplicate it however long you want. I chose one minute. Now save it as a Vegas project and open the other one you want to apply the watermark to, basically your main video. As you can see it drags on just like a video file without the need to render it. You can reuse this for any future projects as if it were rendered. So for this part of the tutorial I'll show you how to add the watermark into your project. So imagine that this is the clip I want to add the overlay to. Now insert a video track and add the overlay onto the timeline. Next go on to properties and disable resample and after that just click OK. So next, click on the pan crop icon down below on the video file. Now go to any point in the timeline and make sure lock aspect ratio and size about center are checked. Now resize it and drag it to position it where you want to. We need to make sure that the keyframe's at the beginning though so the overlay doesn't move throughout the middle of the video. You can do this by copying the keyframe and pasting it right at the start and deleting the other one that you've got in the middle of the video. On my project, I've made markers so I know where to put the watermark. If you duplicate the file, extend it to where you want the effect to take place and then just trim it, you'll better match the footage. And now you've basically done the effect. Lastly, I suggest dropping the opacity using the slider. Somewhat around 50% is optimum. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and found it helpful, thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Drop a suggestion in the comments below. And if I use it, I'll give you credit for it. Subscribe to show your support and to stay up to date on money content. This has been Proto, and I'm out. Peace.